It is time for this week's Health in a Handbasket. We are joined this morning by registered dietitian nutritionist Jen Hayfully with some variation of a Rochester favorite. We're calling them plates this morning. Everyone knows what we're talking about <laughs> here. All right, so I love making plates like homemade plates, and we actually do it for friends who come to visit and don't know anything about Rochester. Mm -hmm. um, so there are so many ways to mix this up. You've got some kind of healthy alternatives for us. I do. So let's start from left to right. So right here, I replaced our base of french fries with zucchini fries. So a way to get in a little bit more vegetable, a different texture, different consistency, um, while still getting that classic plate feel. Yeah. And these veggie fries are kind of like all the rage right now, too. They For don't sure. just have zucchini ones. You can get a variety, right? Yeah, cauliflower, sweet potato, broccoli. I also, in uh, on my website, highlighted you could do broccoli tots instead. Ah. which I'm a fan of. Yeah. But you know, if you wanted to do that, that's for sure an option. Okay. And then headed towards the center, this is a more classic variation of yeah, the plate. Yeah, I noticed, I noticed the mac salad there. <laughs> classic mac salad. Yeah. I actually, one of my tips that I'll give you for free is take some leftover mac salad from graduation parties. A shout out to Matt's oh, yeah. mom. Yeah, so this I borrowed some mac salad from a grad party that I went to, and honestly, the only swap that I did was I added a veggie burger instead okay. of the classic burger. So dependent on the brand that you get, a little bit lower in sodium, and it still allows you to get some classic meat taste if you're using a meat hot sauce. Yeah without um, compromising the taste. I noticed too here, I saw this, this in the store the other day for the first time, yes. uh, vegan mayo. Mm -hmm. what, it, what entails vegan mayo? Because traditional mayo usually has eggs, right? It does. Yeah. Yep, it's an emulsif emulsification of eggs, oil, lemon juice. Uh, vegan mayo is based a little bit more on soybean oil okay. instead of uh, egg yolk. Okay, good to know. They also yeah. have like uh, olive oil ones and yeah, stuff like that. I don't yeah. know if they're particularly vegan, but there's so many mayo alternatives, if you will, out there yes. now as well. Avocado oil as well, which mm -hmm. is one of my favorites. All right, take us to the last one because this is a pasta that I've had before and I was telling you during the commercial yes. break, I really like this protein pasta. Yeah, Sponza is actually my favorite protein-based pasta and we were also talking about how if you are following a gluten-free diet, it holds up really well, it doesn't yeah. fall apart. And so the plate all the way on the right here is mac salad made from bonza pasta actually and is was supposed to be totally vegan uh i might have left my vegan hot sauce at home but <laughs> that's okay <laughs> so it'll give you more protein as well as if you're en encompassing all of the different needs of vegans vegetarians you can hit all of the components of a plate yeah without incorporating meat and your vegan hot sauce explain how you made that too yeah, the recipes on my website, RDN Jen, basically yeah. it is a bunch of spices, which are all listed there, as well as tofu, tomato paste, oil, onions, garlic, and uh, a whole lot of Rochester spiciness. Yeah, and the whole concept here is you can play with this and really yes. kind of make it anything you want. Um, the other thing I've noticed too out there is we mentioned sweet potato fries, but you can get just like the raw sweet potato fries mm -hmm. pre-cut for you for people who are like me and... <laughs> Lazy chefs. And yes, la that's an, actually a great, first of all, chef I would use loosely, but la lazy would be a good descriptor for me. Mm -hmm. um, in the air fryer too, you can do yes. that with, with those in, to prep them, right? Yeah, they also at Wegmans have pre-diced potatoes as well as sweet potatoes. So yeah. if you wanted to do home fries as your base, then you can just toss them oil, garlic, salt, pepper, and then do that in the air fryer, or you could uh, bake them whichever with you and then you have a really easy home fry base that you can then also last time I was here I talked about meal prepping making it easy yeah. you can then use it in breakfast scrambles yeah this is the time of year too people I think we want to get outdoors we want to barbecue mm -hmm. we want to cook out it, it, the plates are obviously a great option for mm -hmm. that outdoor barbecue and really providing that variety right yes everything listed or seen here yeah. is safe food safety wise to leave out for an extended period of time okay except the uh the meat you're actually grilling obviously you would throw that on last anyway yep. but mac salad just being aware not to leave it out for an extended period of time yeah so the the rule of thumb is about two hours at room temp so please keep it refrigerated yeah. keep it nice keep yourself safe and, and a lot of these bases too your your veggie burgers and, and other such things you can throw right on the grill Yes, on the grill, in the microwave. Yeah. I might have put them in the microwave. That's my lazy chef hack. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if I don't have to turn on the <laughs> oven, I won't. <laughs> my, my laziest lazy chef hack is having somebody else do all of the cooking <laughs> for me, either out at a restaurant or meal prep, Very true. which is one Very of my true. favorites. Uh, Jen, always good to see you. Thank you for coming in this Monday morning. Appreciate Thank it. You. Local headlines coming up next.